Hey friends, if you've ever wanted to create stunning 3D animation videos without spending a single dollar, you're going to love what I'm about to show you. In this video, I'm going to walk you through, step by step, how to turn a simple idea into a full animated video with consistent characters, great music, and 3D style visuals. Seriously, stick around till the end because I'm going to share a little-known method that most people have never even heard of. And it could save you a ton of money if you're planning to make videos like those kids' channels you see everywhere. You've probably seen those children's YouTube channels, right? The ones with colorful characters, fun songs, and cute little stories. And they're pulling in billions of views every month. Yeah, billions. And here's the wild part. A lot of those channels make millions of dollars just from ad revenue. Back in the day, to make videos like that, you'd need a full team. Scriptwriters, animators, music producers. It was expensive and honestly, kind of a nightmare to manage. But now, thanks to AI, you can do it all by yourself. No team, no fancy software, no budget needed. Just your computer and a bit of creativity. And hey, Watch this video all the way through because missing even one small step could mean you miss out on something super valuable, okay? Now, let me show you exactly how. Before we get into the nitty gritty, just one quick favor. If you find this video helpful, the best way to support this channel is by smashing that subscribe button. It's totally free and it lets me keep bringing you tutorials like this every week. All right, let's get started. Step one. Come up with your video idea. We're gonna start inside ChatGPT. Just open it up and type in this prompt. I wanna create YouTube channel for kids. Please suggest 10 ideas for an animated educational video that teaches kids an important life lesson. Press enter. And boom! You'll get a bunch of creative video ideas in seconds. Let me show you my favorite one from the list. Oops, I made a mistake. Growth Mindset and Learning from Mistakes I picked this because a lot of parents love videos that teach their kids something meaningful, especially things like emotional intelligence and resilience. Think about it. Kids mess up all the time, right? We all do. But what really matters is how they respond. Do they get discouraged or do they learn and try again? This idea helps kids understand that making mistakes is part of learning and it encourages them to say, it's okay, I'll try again. It's such a powerful message, and when you wrap it in a fun, musical animation, it really sticks with them. Now that we've picked the theme, let's move on to creating the actual song and story. We're gonna continue using ChatGPT and ask it to help us write a super simple and catchy song that little ones can sing along to. Ready? Let's go. Step two, write a fun, catchy song. We're still in ChatGPT for this part. This time, we're asking it to write both the script and song lyrics for our video. I've dropped the exact prompt in the description and pinned comment, so you can just copy and paste it. Super easy. You'll get your lyrics in seconds. Remember, keep it simple. Toddlers respond best to short sentences, easy rhymes, and a fun, positive vibe. We will make the song later. We'll come back to the song a bit later. Right now, let's move on to the fun part. Planning out the scenes for your animation. Let's do it. Step three, plan out your scenes. All right, now it's time to map out what the video will actually look like. For my video, I decided to split it into 20 scenes that follow along with the song. You don't have to do 20 exactly. You can adjust depending on your story. But the important thing is this. Each scene should have a clear and detailed description. Why? Because this helps the AI understand exactly what kind of visuals you want to create. So go back to ChatGPT and use the prompt I share. This gives you a solid storyboard to work with. Step 4. Generate image prompts. Now we're going to take those 20 scenes and turn them into image prompts that we can use in an AI image generator Leonardo or Pickleman AI. Here are the prompt I use in ChatGPT. It will help you get consistent, high-quality visuals from your image generator. Step 5. 
Define your character designs. Last but definitely not least. Before generating your images, we need to define what the characters look like. This is important because consistency is key. You don't want your character looking totally different in each scene. Here's the prompt to use in ChatGPT. So, now that we got detailed descriptions for our characters, like the boy, the mom, or the teacher, what we're going to do next is super important. We need to make sure our characters look the same in every single scene. To do that, we're going to refine those descriptions just a little bit more. Here's what I usually do. Copy all your character descriptions from ChatGPT and paste them into a Word doc, OneNote, or Google Docs. Whatever works best for you. Just somewhere you can review and edit them easily. Once they're in there, take a few minutes to read through each one carefully. Your goal here is to clean them up. Remove any parts that don't directly describe how the character looks. We're talking about physical traits, clothing, colors, facial expressions, stuff that matters when you're generating visuals. Keep it clear, to the point, and focused only on what you want the AI to draw. Trust me, this step will make your image generation so much more accurate later. Now comes the fun part, generating the actual images for our story. There are many tools out there, but today we'll use Piclamen AI, super easy and totally free. Click Launch App. Now you'll see a few login options. For me, I'm going with Google. It's fast and super easy. You can also use Microsoft or email if that's your thing. Click on the Create button here. Now, take the image prompt we generated earlier in ChatGPT and paste it into the prompt box. Next, copy your character description, you know, the detailed one we cleaned up earlier, and paste it right after the character's name in the prompt. This step is really important. It keeps your characters looking consistent across every scene in your story. Then, make sure to set the aspect ratio to 16.9. That's perfect for video format. Once everything looks good, go ahead and hit Generate. Now, if the image doesn't come out exactly how you want, no worries. Just hover over the prompt and click Rerun. Piclamen will generate a new image using the same setup. Take a look at my results here. Both versions turned out great. To download your image, just hover over it and click the little arrow icon. And that's it. It'll save right to your computer. Just keep repeating this process until you've created all the images for your story. It's super easy once you get the hang of it. Now let's bring your images to life using Runway AI. This is a super intuitive tool that turns still images into smooth, cinematic video clips. Here's how to do it. Head over to Runway using the link in the description. To sign in quickly, I just use my Google account. It's fast and easy. Click Continue, then choose Start with Tool Mode. From there, select Video. Now to turn your image into a video, click to upload your image here. In the prompt box, type in the kind of motion you want, then hit Generate. Runway will take a moment to process it, and boom, you've got a beautiful animated scene. Looks awesome, right? To download, just click the arrow icon right here. And that's it. Just repeat the same process for each of your images until your full story is animated. If you're not sure what to write in your prompt, just ask ChatGPT for help. It can give you great suggestions based on your scene. And don't worry if the first result isn't exactly what you pictured. That's totally normal. Just tweak your prompt slightly and try generating it again a few more times until you get something you're happy with. And if there's a part of the video you don't like, no problem. You can always trim it out later during editing. All right, now it's time to create some music to bring your story to life. To do that, we need to log into Suno. And if this is your first time using it, don't worry. I've got you covered. I'll walk you through everything, step by step. Step one, go to suno.com or just click the link I've put down in the description below. 
it'll take you straight to the home page. Step 2. Click the Sign In button. Step 3. Now you'll see a few login options. For me, I'm going with Google. It's fast and super easy. You can also use Microsoft or email if that's your thing. If you choose Google or Microsoft, you might get a pop-up asking for permission. Just click Allow and you're in. That's it. You're now logged into Suno and ready to start creating your own AI music. Now click Create a Song button right here and boom, you're ready to make your very first AI-powered track. Pasting in the lyrics you wrote earlier with ChatGPT. For the style, I went with Sing Along Nursery Rhyme. It has that fun, playful vibe that works perfectly for kids' animations. Then just click Generate, and in a few seconds, you'll get two music options to choose from. Take a moment to listen to both and pick the one that feels right for your story. And here's a little tip from my experience. Don't be afraid to hit Generate a few more times until you get a version you really love. Once you've got your favorite, go ahead and download the track. Just click the little download icon next to the track. Your song will be saved to your device in just a few seconds. Super easy, right? Now it's time to bring everything together using CapCut. Open CapCut and start by importing all your animated clips along with your background music. Drag everything onto the timeline and arrange the clips in the right order to match your story. Then, line up the music so it fits naturally with each scene. If there's any part of the video you don't like, you can simply trim it out, just like this. Next, let's add some transitions to make the scene changes look smoother and more dynamic. Pick a transition you like, and if needed, shorten the duration just a bit. To apply it to all clips at once, just click Apply to All. You can also add a few video effects to make your animation even more fun and engaging for kids. Now let's add the lyrics. Click on Captions, choose Auto Lyrics. Then hit Generate Lyrics. Give CapCut a moment to process and boom. Your lyrics appear automatically on screen. You can customize them using a pre-made template or just keep it simple with a basic style. Totally up to you. Once everything looks good, it's time to export your final video. Type in your video name. Choose where you want to save it and be sure to set the resolution to 4K for the best possible quality. Then click Export, wait a few seconds, and you're done. Now your animated children's video is ready to upload. And just like that, you've created a complete, fully animated video using only free AI tools. Pretty amazing, right? If you're not sure how to upload your video to YouTube with SEO optimization, check out the next video where I walk you through everything. From setting up your channel to uploading your content the smart way, if this tutorial helped you, 
drop a comment below and tell me what kind of video you're planning to make next. And hey, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with a friend who might want to try it too. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.